Turning back to our Commitment 2018 coverage and tonight's gubernatorial debate. Four Democrats are appearing in tonight's debate in an expensive race that has already seen some $30 million raised. And that's not including all the independent expenditures. Action News reporter Mike Lurie with more on the Democratic candidates. The California theater seats 1,122 people, with a full house expected for tonight's great debate. Recent polling shows Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom is leading the pack. You can be sure that Gavin Newsom, as the front runner, is going to have a big bullseye on his forehead when it comes to the other candidates in the debate. They're going to be looking for ways to take him down. That means former schools chief Delane Easton and state treasurer John Chung have to score a knockout punch tonight because under California's so-called jungle primary, the top two vote getters in June will face off against each other in November, regardless of party. And former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa is hoping he'll be running against Newsom in the fall. If those two candidates are running against each other in more of a head-to-head -head format, that it, the election becomes more personal, it becomes more about personality, it becomes more about attacking each other. And so that is a dynamic that we've seen uh, historically in California. Mike Lurie reporting for us tonight. On the Republican side, there are two candidates. They are San Diego businessman John Cox and assembly member Travis Allen. Those two will be fighting to stand out in a race where the top two will advance regardless of party affiliation. Action News reporter Vicki Gonzalez has more on the GOP side. Take California back! Republicans are fighting to make it past the gubernatorial primary. San Diego so businessman John Cox and assembly member Travis Allen representing the California GOP in the race to the governor's office. Tim Rosales represents Cox's campaign. Recent polling shows the Republican candidate in second. You know, there's a lot of unhappy people in California who are not satisfied with the Democratic leadership over the last past eight years. And uh, we think uh, a lot of those folks are attracted to, you know, somebody who has a message, who's a business person. Cox wedged between Lieutenant Governor and Democrat Gavin Newsom's strong lead and just inching ahead of Allen, the Republican assembly member currently polling in third. It's about turning out the California voters that know that this state has gone in the wrong direction. These are not just Republicans. These are not just people that supported the president. Cox gaining most of the Republican delegation at the California convention, 55% to Allen's 41%, but shy of the 60% needed for the party's endorsement. Both GOP candidates taking the stage will be competing as the real conservative, but in a governor's race where a Republican is not guaranteed to advance past the primary.